Hi, I'm Florian Lazerka, Head of Technical Marketing at Venify. Today I'll show you how Venify TLS Protect Cloud enables you to automate the management of TLS machine identities, or certificates, throughout their lifecycle. If you want to try this on your own, sign up for a free 30-day trial on the Venify website. The first stage of a TLS certificate's lifecycle is enrollment. I need to get a digital certificate from a Certificate Authority, or CA, to secure a system or an application. TLS Protect has out-of-the-box integrations with popular public and private CAs, as well as its own built-in CA that can integrate with any CA that supports ACME v2. These integrations make it easy to use TLS Protect as a single control plane for issuing certificates for different use cases throughout your organization. Enrollment also requires you to provide some information to the CA about yourself and what type of certificate you need. Often a resource owner who needs a certificate will make a mistake providing this information, like using an incorrect version of your organization's name or choosing a key algorithm that doesn't meet security policy. Mistakes like these can cause costly rework or even worse, leave your organization at risk. Issuing templates in TLS Protect Cloud lets you automate certificate enrollment. Enrollment uses a pre-built connection to a specific CA and a pre-populated certificate request. Once the issuing templates are created, resource owners add them to their applications. When a request is sent to a specified CA, the new TLS certificate will be available and ready to install. Okay, we're at stage two in a certificate's lifecycle. We have a new certificate ready to install. TLS Protect provides two ways to automatically install or provision the certificate, pull or push provisioning. If you're using an orchestration solution such as Ansible, Kubernetes, or Terraform to deploy and manage services, containers, and applications, you can use it to pull the certificate from TLS Protect to the resource where it's needed. Alternatively, you can use TLS Protect to automatically push provision certificates directly to applications, load balancers, web servers, and common key stores. Here's where we indicate the load balancer, web server, or machine that the certificate will be installed on. TLS Protect will then issue the certificate from your preferred certificate authority or from its own built-in CA. The certificate will be available immediately. From there, assign the certificate to the application it belongs to, and TLS Protect will automatically install it for you. Great, we've got a certificate installed where it needs to be. Now, let's say the certificate has been in operation for a while and it's nearing the end of its lifetime. We don't want the certificate to expire and cause an outage. We're at stage three in a certificate's lifecycle where we need to renew it. As a resource owner, I can set up TLS Protect to alert me when the expiration date for the certificate is coming close. When I get the notice, I can easily identify the certificate and renew it before it can cause an outage. I might also want to renew a certificate well before its expiration if there's a possibility it was compromised in some way. I can use the same capability to revoke the existing certificate and issue a new one. The final stage of a certificate's lifecycle is destruction. Let's say something changes well before a certificate is set to expire, and while that certificate may still be valid for some time, it's no longer being used. As a best practice, you should proactively retire or destroy the certificate to prevent any possible misuse or compromise. That's it. We've seen how TLS Protect Cloud enables automation of TLS certificates from the initial enrollment to each provision and renewal operation, all the way through revocation and destruction. In this video, I showed examples from the TLS Protect Cloud UI. You can also do these operations programmatically. Benefit Dev Central is an excellent guide, so when you start a 30-day trial of TLS Protect Cloud, I encourage you to use Dev Central as a companion tool with it. Thanks for watching.